What we have here is a beating heart, actually a simulation of a beating heart. This is the behavior of the heart reproduced in a computer. Obviously, you need a lot of biology to understand how the heart behaves, uh, but then you also need some software to visualize, represent the heart, but maybe less obvious, you need a lot of mathematics also to reach that stage, to have this representation, this visualization of the heart. Hi everybody, my name is Jerome Donio, and I'm in charge of the section on Applied and Computational Mathematics in the School of Mathematics. My goal in this short video is to try and explain to you what that means, what Applied and Computational Mathematics mean. Let's start from the beginning. Usually we have a situation coming from an Applied Science, Physics, Biology or from Engineering and we want to understand the process, we want to represent the process. It could be a solar flare, like here it could be trying to manage containers in a port, trying to uh, find some sort of allocation to the trains and trucks, uh, and so on and so forth. The way to proceed is to use mathematical tools to translate that particular situation into a set of mathematical equations, um, like the one here. Then, from these mathematical equations, using further mathematical tools, we try and either find a solution to the equations, or maybe find a simulation, represent the solution, an approximate uh, version of the solution in a computer. What's important here is to realize that each of these steps requires a lot of mathematics involved to get to the final product, which is the simulation. Why do we want a simulation? This is another example where here I represent the invasion of uh, an underground reservoir uh, filled with oil. We invade with a solvent, and the solvent pushes the oils towards some to here towards the right of the reservoir where we can recover the oil. The point of doing that simulation is that in a few seconds I can represent what happens in 10 years of the life of the reservoir. So we can predict how the oil will be recovered, or we can, for some other settings, predict the storage of carbon that we can put in a reservoir, and so on and so forth. There is some heavy mathematics involved to get to the stage where we can actually represent that and predict that in a computer. In terms of career, uh, after you've done some applied mathematics, I've showed you some pictures that give you a little bit of an idea already, but it's quite wide. You can work in science, of course you can work in engineering, the number of programs that I already covered come from the engineering uh, world. Um, there are some uh, well-known uh, mathematics or biological problems that can be tackled using mathematics. Um, I already talked about also logistics issues that involves a lot of optimization and of course there's more fundamental theoretical research using mathematics um, and perhaps in the university setting. So this is the broad, very generic view of the kind of uh, directions you can go with a degree in applied and computational mathematics. In terms of the School of Mathematics at Monash, I've described here a few of the themes that we cover in the school that are actually quite broad. We have people working in fluid mechanics, representing the mathematics of fluids. We have some of our colleagues uh, working in mathematical biology, so trying to tackle the issues of related to representing the heart, as I ex explained. A number of us are also uh, doing some simulations, working in the question of simulate, find the proper mathematical uh, representation for the simulation. Of course, also some optimization and solar sort of physics that you, can, you could see in the previous slides. Maybe interestingly, more interesting than the themes are the people. So this is us. Uh, hopefully, if you join us, you will see some of us uh, as lecturers, as tutors in your math units, either in undergrad or postgrad. Um, and we'll get the chance to discuss and meet a little bit more. Uh, so thank you for following this presentation, and I hope I'll see you in the coming years.